mamas, welcome to my kitchen where I feel like I live. And if you're a new mom out there and you agree, I would love to hear from you. But don't you feel like you never leave? I mean, I feel like I don't. I'm either cleaning the kitchen or I'm cooking in the kitchen or I'm getting creative and sassy in the kitchen, which is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to turn this bitter tough lettuce that's literally like chewing a rubber boot in your mouth to this gorgeous sweet and spicy kale salad. And mamas, I'm convinced if I keep eating this salad, it's gonna give me superpower strength to get through these crazy sleepless nights with baby Athena. She's 11 months old and I am up from anywhere from five to seven times a night with this little baby and I refuse to let her cry it out, which might be my own problem, but nevertheless, I need as much energy as I can. If you're unaware of the benefits of kale, let Mama Camacho enlighten you. For starters, it's a great detox food. It's full of folate, vitamins A, C, and K. It's been called the queen of greens and for all of my avid vegetarians out there, the new beef. And ladies, if you're trying to conceive or you're already preggers, Kale can provide you with enough nutrients to make hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen to the cells, perfect for your growing bambino. I'm gonna take my pre-washed kale and put it in the salad bowl. Nice hefty serving. The next thing I wanna do is kind of break down the fibers in the kale by massaging the kale. So I'm gonna add a really hefty dose of olive oil as well as some sea salt. And what this is gonna do is break down those tough fibers. So you really wanna get in, get down and dirty, and massage your kale. I don't know what it is about this, but I love getting my hands in this kale. And you can see that it's turning a really beautiful green color, and it's just gonna like soften the leaves just a little bit. But you really wanna get all of the leaves really coated with the olive oil and the sea salt, breaking down those fibers. Okay, I'm gonna give my hands a quick rinse over here. Grab a hand towel and let's get ready to make our salad. I'm adding some carrots now for a little pop of color, a little bit of fiber and some beta carotene. I love the crunch that almonds give in my salad, so I'm gonna use some slivered almonds. And the great thing about this recipe is use what you have in your kitchen. If you don't have almonds and you have cashews, then, then use cashews. I'm gonna add some raisins for a little bit of sweetness, and obviously this recipe is not about measuring whatsoever. You can just add what you like, add what works for you. Now the spiciness in the salad is this cayenne pepper. Now I love to cook with spices because they boost your metabolism, so I add a hefty dose of my cayenne. A really cool ingredient too for a little bit more sweetness is a little bit of honey. You can use how much ever you would like. I just give it a little, a little swirl there. I'm gonna add a little bit of lime juice just to give it a, a, little, a little kick there, not too much. And I'm gonna top it all off with some gorgeous organic tangerines. Now I'm sorry mamas, I didn't make enough to share this time. This is suggested serving size for one tired mama. And this is my favorite part of the show, the taste test, here we go. Gorgeous, perfection, tropical. I love this, the spicy from the cayenne mixed with the honey and the raisins and the crunch of the slivered almonds backed up with the sweetness of the tangerine. It is fabulous. I would love to know what you mamas think. Please leave me a comment below. How did you mix it up? Did you mix it up? What did you put in your kale salad? And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe to Mama Camacho. This is New Mom, New Wife, New Life, and I'll see you next time.